guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hello and if you're returning hello how's it going how are you so for today's video y'all already know what it is y'all already seen the title okay we ain't gonna chit chat too much this is a tutorial i really don't like tutorials but so many people requested this and i think it was needed so let's just hop into it we're not we're not gonna play around we're gonna hop into it we're gonna learn how to use tool today and by the time you leave this video you're gonna know all the basics you're gonna know how to use it. So pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to be adding trash cans and little bitty decorations to this side of Brychester. If you watched my last video, I am redoing all the worlds, okay? I don't wanna have to go over that again for people that really don't care. But anyways, I'm redoing all the worlds and this is the side of Brychester that we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna be putting trash cans down, stop signs, street lights, all that little stuff using tool because we're placing it off lots so since we're using tool we are in live mode but you can use tool in build mode but you guys know in build mode you can only go so far you can't like really go down the street or anything like that you have to stay within the parameters so i don't really use tool in build mode that often see because you can only go so far but if i tap then i can go further but it's just gonna bring me back here but to bring up tool mode in build mode if you want to use it you just press shift t but you have to have the better build by uh, mod by twisted mexi so you have to have that if you want to use tool in build mode but that's neither here nor there really really because we're not using it um but yeah you can just shift t out of it so I pretty much have everything that we're going to be using lined up here on this empty lot so i don't have to you know go looking for it and go find it so if you want to use tool mod just in live mode you just shift click like that and then tool is going to pop up now before we start I want you to open your notes app. <laughs> I feel like a teacher for real. I want y'all to open your notes app or just somewhere that you can keep this little cheat sheet written down so you can always know. Cause we're gonna be working with the X and the Y axis, um, axis, <laughs> the X and the Y axis, axes, whatever. We're gonna be working with that, okay? And X is horizontal. So that means left to right. And Y is vertical. So that means up and down or forward and back, okay? So just remember that. So write this down x negative means right so x negative y'all are gonna see once i get into it just put x negative equals right and then put x positive equals left okay and then for y put y negative equals forward parentheses down put that it's gonna make sense later trust me and then put y positive equals back parentheses up okay y'all got that we keep that in hand all right all right keep that keep them little notes right there keep that open because you're gonna need it, need it so let's go ahead and open up tool and you see we have the toggle active object scale rotate move and elevate since we're going to be moving the trash cans in front of these deco homes let's toggle you're gonna see it's gonna turn transparent green color and you just go to wherever you wanna add it. So we're gonna add the trash cans right here, you know, on the curve for trash day. And you just click it where you want the trash can or whatever we're placing. You know, it don't have to just be trash cans. This is for anything. This is for deco buildings, people, trees, whatever. And then after you have it placed where you want it, you just click it again and now it's placed. Now you have it placed off lot very simple this is simple because i don't really have to like you know move it or rotate it that much it's pretty self-explanatory with that but say you don't want it to be there and you don't like what you did you can just you know toggle it again and place it somewhere else or you can press undo and it'll go back to the original spot that it was in and if you want to bring it back then you can just press redo and it comes back okay so let's go ahead and grab a little recycle bin, toggle. Let's place that right here. And you see, I'm just like, if I wanna get it closer, I'm kind of moving it away. I'm just like placing. Okay, I think I like 
think I like where it's at. So now we have the trash cans there. Okay, y'all get it? Y'all see it? Y'all see what's going on? I think I want to put a basketball goal in front of this house as well. You know when people come down the street and play basketball? What do I want to put it over there? Where do I want this basketball goal? I think I want this basketball goal. So I'm going to do the same thing. Hoggle. And have the basketball goal. Let's see. I think right there looks pretty good. And say I want to rotate this, right? Say, like, I want to rotate it just a little bit on click, which is shift click, tool, and let's rotate. Okay, you see how it has, we can go between negative 360 and 360. Say I just want to turn this to the side, then what's that? A 90 degree angle. So you just, boop, it's to the side, okay? And then say I want to completely, like say I like it on this side, but I want to flip it. We just hit them with that 180. And then you flip it. Like this, that's basic math. Like, you know, 90 degree, 180. We know that's that's basic math. 360 is all the way around basic. Like if I was put 360 in here, it's going to be right back in the same place that it's in right now, most likely. See, it didn't change. So um let's just undo all that because i didn't want that <laughs> so we're just gonna undo and bring it back to where we had it i just want to rotate it just a little bit like just a tad just a pinch so let's go two let's rotate it two okay that's not enough that's not where i want it so we're just gonna crank it up a little bit more let's go to six Okay, you can see how that rotated a little bit. I think I want it a little bit more, though. You always want to start small. You don't want to start, like, big. And you can also use decimals, too, but we're not going to be using decimals with this because I kind of need it rotated a little bit more. So let's try 15. Okay. 15, I think I think I like where it's at. I think I like where it's at. So you just, like, keep going and keep, like, you know, putting numbers in until you like where it is pretty much um and I, I i like where that's at okay let's add a little add a basketball goal not basketball goal but a ball let's add that over here let's add that let's put it right there see and now we're that's how that's how you play stuff off lot you see that simple all right now now we're cooking now we're doing something but we're gonna go down here and as you can see, this deco house doesn't have a driveway. Yeah, see that? Doesn't have a driveway. I want to add one. Ignore the trees, okay? Like, I'm, I'm placing stuff off lot. I can't move these trees. Trust me, if I could, I would. But these are EA trees. They're just stuck there. So you're going to have some trees in your driveway. But it doesn't matter. It's all for show. It don't matter. So I'm going to grab one of these um, driveway pieces here. And we are going to shimmy on down and place it right here. But you see how it looks? You see how it looks kind of funky? Like it's going into, that's because it's not elevated. Like the, the terrain is kind of weird when it comes to Sims a little bit. Like it's not really flat. This is not a flat terrain. So... When you want to elevate something, a lot of people, they say they try to elevate something and it disappears. That's because y'all putting it, y'all putting numbers in that's too high, okay? Like, you don't need to be put elevating something to 10 or to 15 or to 20. Like, that's doing too much, okay? You want to start off small. We're just going to elevate. We're going to do 0 0.1 because you can use decimals. Boom, there we go. You see that? See, it's exactly where you want it to be without, like, going off camera or anything. And you can also use negative decimals too, but that's gonna take it all the way down into the ground. So we're not going to mess with that. But clearly we need to rotate this because we need it to line up with the garage. So we do need to rotate it. So let's see, let's rotate it about 15, see where it goes. Okay, that's not enough. Let's rotate it to about 40. Oh, per hello, that was perfect. 
it still look a little bit off but it's fine you see and now we have to scale it we have to make it bigger obviously to fit the um the driveway here okay like what piece of driveway is this so that's when we're gonna go into scale okay and when you scale things sometimes you want to start off small with this i know i'm gonna have to make it way bigger but if we were scaling like a tree or an object like a piece of furniture start off small start off with one 1.1 1.2 1.3 don't go one two three no you start off with 1.1 or 1.4 or 1.7 like never go straight into oh i'm just about to scale it to full like you know this is when i'm this is talking about like furniture and stuff like this but with this we are going to scale this pretty big so with that being said we're going to scale this to like two okay we're going to start off with two see and that's kind of that's kind of where we want it to be that's kind of where we want to be it really lines up pretty perfectly if we're being quite honest it is kind of hanging off here so this is when we're going to move it and we're going to go back into what we learned okay with x being left and right so horizontal and y being vertical which is forward back up down so i want to move this back so we're going to use y but because this is at an angle it's kind of rotated we kind of got to play around a little bit i know it's going to be y for sure but we kind of got to play and see let's see i'm gonna press one and see what happens okay see that moved it back way too much and then when you move stuff back it goes back to the original position that it was in so we're gonna have to elevate it again um let's elevate that again to 0 0.1 okay see that y i didn't do negative so it bought it forward too much so we're just gonna undo we're gonna undo that so let's do y negative one instead of positive one let's do negative okay that brought it back but it moved it to the side a little bit it's a little bit tricky when you're working with rotations but you just you kind of just got to play it you know not play it by ear but just eyeball it a bit so we can actually probably move that a little bit let's use x so we can move it to the side a little bit and then we're gonna have to elevate it again okay that's perfect i like where that's at that's great so as you seen me doing <laughs> i kind of just played around a little bit until i got where i wanted it to be and if you do see something going into the ground or whatever when you're placing like you know rugs or different terrain when you're working with stuff like that then just use the elevation tool but start off really really tiny really tiny when it comes to elevation because if i press elevate and i press like i don't know five it's gonna disappear see it's gone because it's too high in the sky see there we go but you can barely even see it like what's, what's t but now we're just gonna undo it and put it back and it's it's really as simple as that when it comes to um placing things elevating things whatnot same thing like i said with scaling things um let's some uh, let's see something that else i can scale so if you want to scale something and you just want it like a little bit bigger like just a tad just type in um well with the scaling tool okay let's say i want to do 1.1 1. 1. see that's a little bit just a tad let's do some more 1.5 that made it like much bigger but not like too too silly you know but we're just gonna undo that because using tools is all, all about starting small and then building your way up so we're just gonna place some more trash cans in front of um in front of these homes pretty much 
place some more trash cans. Do I like where it's at? Yeah, let's, um, hmm. I think I wanna move it to the side a little bit though. I don't want it like blocking their driveway. Do I like where it's at? Um, okay, now. It's a little bit in the street and then you could use the move button to like push it back too but sometimes i just like to use the toggle all right that's 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 fine for right now and then we're gonna rotate that just a tad let's start off with rotating it four okay rotate it some more mm. and you see now it's like i want to rotate it a little bit back so how I was putting seven and stuff like that, we're just gonna do negative two and see if that brings it to a spot where we're like, okay. Okay, see, that's that's perfect. That's great, that's great. Like that. Um, let's take another trash can. Place it here. Oop, no, place it here. And I think I'm gonna leave it like that. You see how it's like not perfectly placed because like, you know, when people roll their trash can out for garbage day, they're not trying to have it like perfectly right there. So we're just gonna leave it right there. We're just gonna leave it. Yeah. And let's take a garbage bag. Let's take a bag here. Okay, they had a lot of trash apparently. And let's place a, place a garbage bag here too for a little razzle dazzle. Okay. All right, I think I, I think I like where it's at. I think I like this little light. <laughs> I hate that, but anyways. Okay, so I think I like where it's at. Yeah, we just gonna leave that. Um, And let's move on to like some mailboxes. Yeah, let's place the mailboxes down the street because I'm not about to just keep um doing trash cans. It's kind of boring um i'll do that in my own time let's go down here i think i want the mailboxes because i don't want the mailbox to be in front of the house like an individual one i think i want them to have like a neighborhood mailbox and it's going to be right here um yeah because i don't want to i don't want them getting suspicious with a whole bunch of cars you know pulling up in front of their house to check their mail so let's just rotate this rotate it let's put 10 in there i know we're gonna have to rotate that a little bit more let's hit them with a hit them with a 40. okay we almost there and you see it's just it's just like really i wouldn't say tedious but kind of tedious you just keep going in with numbers okay you see how we have that there so i was using positives now we're gonna go to the negatives and let's put in negative maybe two. It's still not quite straight. So let's do a negative two again. Okay, just a little, just a little bit. Maybe like a, maybe like a negative one. And then it'll be straight. Okay. I don't really think that's, I don't really think that's straight. I mean, it's kind of straight. It's straight enough. Yeah, straight enough. Okay. So let's just go back to, um, my God. <laughs> let's just go back and grab the other two mailboxes. The community net mailboxes. And place it here. And we're going to do the same thing. Sometimes I like to like try to remember what I did with the first one, but I don't think I'm going to remember. I think I did what, 10? And then I did, did I do 40 after that? Did I? I did 40 after that, right? I think, I don't know. And let's do, let's do um, 10, okay. And you see how it's like not close? I want them to be close. Let me also like throw a negative in there. Mm, maybe one more negative, maybe. Okay. 
Mm. Eh. I don't know how I feel about it. But let's see. It's not straight. I could back it up a little bit more. Maybe. Hmm. Well, I could pull this one up a little bit more. So let's like move this. Um, we're gonna move it like zero point. Oh, and see how you have the X and then it's a comma, then it's a Y. So if you're not moving it on the X axis, just always put a zero there and then place the, the vowel of what you're gonna do, like the value. Um, and same thing if you were doing like X, but you weren't doing Y, then put your number here, comma, and then a zero here. Just always remember to do that. Don't just put like two, three, four. You, like you have to like put the comma. But anywho, okay, I moved that up a little bit. Now they're touching and I don't want, I don't want y'all to be touching. Why are y'all touching? Let's move you. Let's move you a little bit to, Oh, we're gonna be moving you. Okay, see, that's a little bit too much. A little bit too much. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna, let's see. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Let's go ahead and grab the last mailbox. Shimmy down. Doo -doo. Place that here. Use tool, rotate it. We just gonna hop right. We just gonna hop right in. We just gonna do fifty. Okay. We we, we don't we don't have time to play. And let's just rotate that a little bit more. We just gonna throw a ten in there. Oh, see. See, look at that. And I think they're they're not lined up perfectly. This one could be up a little bit more. I mean, it was fine, but mm, I do the I spend most of my time doing this, honestly. Like just trying to line stuff up. It's so tedious. It's not perfect, but Hmm. Oh, I hate when I accidentally press M and now it's like asking me if I want to travel and I don't want to travel. Okay. Here we go. I mean, it's something. Okay. It's something. But that's pretty much how you, how you play stuff off a lot. I mean, the same thing goes for like houses. Um, if I want to make this house like a little bit bigger. Like, I want to scale it just like a tad bit. I think I already scaled it though. So I might make it smaller. I don't know. Say I want to make it smaller. 1.1. Oh, it's already 1.1. Okay. So it is 1.1. Say I want to make it bigger. I'm going to do 1.3. See how that made the house bigger? But I don't want it to be that big. So I'm going to undo. And that's that on that. Um, What do I want to do now? I think that's pretty much all you need to know about tool, really. Like we place some stuff, we place a driveway, we place some trash cans, we place basketball, a ball. Um Y'all wanna do some deco sims? Let's do some deco sims. Yeah, let's go ahead and place some um some deco sim. Or we can play some bikes. Yeah, let's play some bikes. Like the neighborhood key is pulled up to Play some basketball. Yeah. But I want to rotate it. Rotate it to 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good enough. Put another bicycle there. Where are the bikes? Let's put another bicycle here. Mm. 
Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Some bikes and neighborhood kids pulled up playing some basketball. We got the trash cans here. I want to go through and like add the trash cans myself. Um, the rest of them because that's just going to be extremely boring. <laughs> it's going to be extremely boring to watch. Like, I know y'all be saying like, oh, I want to see your process of how you do. And I'm like, y'all see how boring that is? It's just me like clicking and a whole bunch of placing in silence. It's like extremely boring. But I guess we can put like a little light pole here because it's dark. Let's put a light pole. I'm going to put one right here. Yeah. I could rotate this a little bit, just a tad. Let's rotate this just a tad bit. Okay. Boom, bam, pow. And I'm definitely gonna have to, have to add some more light poles because it's so dark. Like, I'm telling y'all, it's extremely dark when you have the blowtorch mod. Um, I'm just gonna show y'all how dark it is. It's one light, but look at everything. I mean, the deco houses are like lit up, but look at this street. It's dark as heck. The entire world is dark because I don't have it lit up. So I'm going to have to place lights all around here to light up the world. And also some of the deco houses don't light up. So I'm going to have to put like a little porch light or something there to, to light that up. Um... But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it as far as um, placing things using tool. If you guys want, we can go and place some deco buildings just so you can kind of see how that is. It's the same process though. So, but just just to make sure I'm covering everything, let's go place some deco buildings. Oh, so, as you can see, I came prepared for this portion of the video okay i have what we're going to be placing down i have my deco mcdonald's um the wendy sign and the mcdonald's sign the reason i have this wendy sign here is because i didn't place a wendy sign on our wendy's down there so let's just go ahead and do that shift t um shift click for tool toggle active object mosey on down where you want to place it i feel like the sign should be right here and i think this I think it's big enough i don't know what y'all think i feel like it's big enough mm, we can make it maybe a little a little bigger um let's scale it to one point mm, actually no we're gonna scale this to 2.1 because i forgot i already made it big when i was in build mode so Okay, it's 2.1, um, maybe 2.3. Mm. No, I just feel like it should be a little bit bigger. I don't know. Let's scale it to 2.6. Mm. Yeah, I think it's about the same size as as this Whataburger sign. I just kind of want to move it over a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go with that. We're going to keep it like that for, for right now. It's fine. Um, let's go ahead and go to the McDonald's. So I'm going to place the McDonald's right. Thinking about placing it right here. I'm not going to keep it right here. This is just for the sake of the video. Because if I put it here, it's not going to fit because of this stuff from San Manchuno. And I don't want to put it over here by the Whataburger or the Wendy's. It's going to give them some serious competition. So, yeah, I think we're just going to place it right here just for the sake of this video. And then I can show you guys how to rotate it and everything. So, let's go ahead and place it where we want it. And let's rotate it. So, we're going to hit them with a, with a 90 degree so we can... Okay. And you see how we rotate it, but it's facing that way. So I'm gonna flip it back. Just put 180 in there, and that's gonna flip it back, obviously. So I think that's a good, it's a good spot. It's a good spot for it. I do want to make it a little bit bigger though. Um, I don't think I scaled this up in build mode, so I don't have to put two in there. So I think I can just go with one. Let's do 1.2. 
Oh, nope. I, <laughs> I guess I did make it bigger in build mode. So let's undo that. So sometimes like when you, you know how you use the brackets in build mode when you want to make something bigger. So once you've done that, say you like hit the bracket once, that moves it to two. Or if you hit the bracket, you know, twice, it moves it to three. I hope that makes sense. Um, So we're going to do 2.2, I guess. Okay. Maybe 2.3, just for a little razzle dazzle. Okay. So, I think that's a good spot for the McDonald's. Um, I do want to move it just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, let's move it negative. Maybe, yeah, like negative two. Oh, no, that's not where I wanted it. Not where I wanted it. I wanted it on the other side. So you see how I moved it negative two and it went to the right. Now I have to move it positive to go to the left. Okay. There we go. All right. I think I like where it's set. I think matter of fact, I actually could keep this McDonald's here, to be honest. Like there's little parking spots right there. I could keep this McDonald's here, but um this is like an older style mcdonald's and i'm telling my brother to make a newer one um because i don't think i want to put this like old ass mcdonald's here but i could i don't know i, I kind of like the way it looks i like i like it but this was initially for my 90s 2000s world but um let's put the mcdonald's sign let's just go ahead and rotate it while we're here though let's rotate it okay and let's toggle it and let's put it right there. Mm, I don't think I like it right there. I don't think I like it right there either. I, I don't think I like this particular McDonald's sign in general, but let's scale that, scale that down a little bit. Scale that to like 1.7, maybe. Or no, you know what? Let's put the McDonald's sign Let's put it on the side. So let me flip it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I like it better on the side. There we go. Yep. That's that. So that's pretty much how you place things using tool. Like I said, it's very simple. Like, you just want to start off small and just play around with it a little bit. That's what I did. I'm not like a pro. I probably didn't even explain this well, which is okay. Because I'm I'm not a teacher anymore. I used to be. But <laughs> I'm not anymore. So, y'all see why I'm not. But, yeah. So, I hope that made sense. Like I said, it's very simple. You just kind of go out of go in there and play around with it. Once you, like, get the hang of doing things with it, um, then, you know, it becomes easier and like with little things say i want to make this car a little bit bigger which i do that a lot because i don't like the size of some of the cars in the game um i can just start off you know little 1.2 made it a little bit bigger see wasn't too crazy wasn't too much same thing with with this car ignore this lot but i don't have no idea what i'm doing with this lot by the way but same thing with this car say i want to do like 1.3 yeah, made it a little bigger. And say I want to rotate it because this person can't park. Let's rotate a little bit. Boom. Let's rotate it a little bit more. Let's do negative though. Let's do it the other way, like negative 36. And you see, now it's now it's sideways. So it just, just happens to, you know, you just got to play around with it. Same thing with elevation. Say I want to elevate this car a little bit for some reason. It's elevated to 0.8. Elevation, you got to really start small because that thing can disappear really quick. See, just doing 0 0.8, it, it, it went high. Like imagine if I put like something crazy in there, like five. It's about to disappear. Oh, no, it's right there. But like, you see, but if I was down here, like just in build mode doing my thing, it looked like it disappeared because some people be like, putting some of y'all be putting like 15 in there 
and be wondering like, oh, where my bill go? Where'd it go? Girl, why are you putting 15 in there? What are you trying to do? You trying to decorate the sky? Like, what was tea? So we're just gonna undo that. Undo that. Undo that. And um, oh, and when you're trying to do undo, undo something don't press this to undo it you gotta don't press like the object press like a random place on the ground to to undo it but yeah that is pretty much my tool tutorial i hope that was helpful i hope you guys learn how to use it now because a lot of you were saying y'all were struggling with tool um pretty much covered everything we covered toggle elevate move rotate scale we covered all that so y'all should be some tool pros okay but yeah that's it for this video um follow me on all my social medias which is just two which is my instagram and my twitter um i do updates on my twitter so i definitely want to follow that it is at jazz raddits it is in my description box below so is my instagram they're both jazz raddits um go to my patreon if you want some bills okay become a part of my patreon community i am going to be posting some more bills next week and throughout this month um, there's going to be a lot more build posting. I'm also going to be posting them on YouTube too, obviously, so you can see the tour of them. And a lot of you guys asked me when this save file was going to be ready. I do not know. Not anytime soon because that's a lot. I'm like decorating the world from scratch. So it's not going to be done anytime soon. Like it's going to be a minute. But you guys are going to see all the progress and everything that I do. Because, like, little things that I have to do, like, even here. Like, say I wanted this McDonald's here. I got to put cars here. I have to, like, put some more garden stuff here. Like, I have to decorate all of this. Like, all of this is empty. Like, I got to make this look like a hustling, bustling suburban community. Like, it's going to take me a minute. And then I'm having deco buildings built for me. So, gotta wait till that's done. So, it's gonna take a little while, but it's gonna be well worth it. And I'm not in a rush. Anyways, it's a game. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, a lot of you guys have told me I should use the Creator World by Twisted Mexi. And I am. It's just not updated since the, um, the for rent expansion pack. It hasn't been updated. So, once he ups updates it, I will get it. And I will, like, try it out and play around with it. Um, and see how I like that and see if I like that better than the blowtorch mod, which I, I might since with that, it gets rid of all these trees that are being a pain in my ass, but you know, it's okay. It's okay. I love the blowtorch mod. I just don't like EA's placement of trees, but I think that's enough. Um, chit chat for me. I said, I wasn't going to make this a chit chatty video and I've been chit chat this entire time, but you know, it's all, it's okay. We can always use a little chit chatting sometimes here and there but yeah i will see you guys in my next video which will be next week and we're gonna go back to some builds we're gonna be doing some challenges it's gonna it's gonna be fun okay this is my little cozy corner of my channel um my guinea pig is squeaking at me in the back so that means it's time for me to go but yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye